and welcome back to my channel. This is Marla and I'm so glad you're joining me today. We are going to create a Christmas card using neutral tones, which is a departure from my love of color. I'm going to be using some Scrappy Tail Crafts products. I have the Penguin Friends, which is an adorable die set that is part of the brand new release over in the Scrappy Tail store. This is one of Sabrina's very first uh, stamp set. It's called Christmas Market. I got excited and forgot to turn on my camera so I did do a little bit of stamping ahead of time using that Christmas Market stamp set. I used Catherine Pooler's Twilight Ink to stamp the carousel and the Ferris wheel onto a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of cardstock. I need to make sure that I know where I want my sleigh to be. This this is the focal point. There are two different penguins in this die set. There's one that is pulling a sled and then there's another one that is in a sleigh with some presents and a blanket. This is Canson XL watercolor paper. Because I'm going to be using some pattern paper with this die, I wanted something that was going to be a little bit more substantial to layer all of my die cut pieces onto. So I did cut from the 140 pound cardstock, making sure where I'm going to want that sleigh before I do additional stamping. So I did fussy cut out out these masks using some post-it notes that I had in my stash and these are super easy to cut. I am a terrible fussy cutter so if I can do it you can do it too. There are two tree stamps in the Christmas market stamp set, one small and one large. The larger tree is going to go in the center as you can see. I have the smaller tree to the left side and then I'm going to use that twilight ink again which is in the gray tones to stamp the trees. I'm going to add the smaller tree to the right side as well, shifting my cardstock over and voila, we have the background. So we are going to uh, start building our sleigh. I did die cut all of the pieces off camera to save a little bit of time. This first piece is a piece of chalkboard black cardstock, or not cardstock, but pattern paper. So it has a little bit of that distressed look. Now when you build this, I'm going to be building around the base of the sleigh. So a lot of those um, black areas are going to be covered up. Because this is on the lighter side, I was able to use a piece of solid black cardstock for the base of my penguin, which is going to allow him to stand out against that sleigh. So going with the chalkboard paper, um, the faux chalkboard paper, that really allowed me to stick with the black and for me not to lose the definition of my penguin. There's a little white face that goes over the top and this penguin is just absolutely adorable. I used some silver glitter cardstock, which is going to uh, tie in with the gray tones in my card. I cut the bow for the top of the penguin's uh, head, and then there's a little gift that the penguin is going to be holding. So I'm adding those pieces on to complete the penguin. Uh, the blanket and the gift to the left of the penguin, uh, there's a little tiny um, fill-in piece, I guess you could say. So I did use some gray cardstock. In fact, it's the same gray cardstock that I'm going to use for the trim of my sleigh just to separate those two pieces. And then there's a blanket. So I'm adding the blanket using uh, some gingham cardstock or pattern paper. I keep wanting to call it cardstock, but it's pattern paper. I have some holographic paper that I cut the gift out of to give a little sparkle and shine. Again, it's got that gray tone in it. And then I did use that same glitter cardstock to cut the bow. So all of these are separate dies. It comes together, this little sleigh comes together so quick and easy. And there are 
Again, you could build a scene using the second penguin with the sled. I just thought that it went so well with Sabrina's Christmas Marketplace. And again, going with these neutral tones, it allowed me to add a little bit of stamping into the background, which is going to add to that monochromatic look. For the rails, I did use a flat, um, it's, it's a shimmer cardstock, but it has more of a flat finish. And that completes the sleigh. So that's how quick and easy that little sleigh goes together. You'll notice in the background that I do have a piece of black and white hatch cardstock. That's going to be the base layer. So I am going to trim that down quickly. I need to trim it down uh, on the length side to five and a half inches. So it's going to be four and a quarter by five and a half inches. In order for that beautiful paper to show, I do need to trim down my card panel. As I mentioned, this is an A2 size card panel. So I'm just going to use my guillotine trimmer and cut an eighth of an inch off of each side of this panel, which will give that little bit of reveal. I didn't want to cut any more because I really wanted those Christmas trees to show on the left and the right side. So instead of, um, you could have put maybe the carousel and the Ferris wheel a little bit closer together and you would have been able to trim this down a little bit more. But I like the way that this actually turned out having just that little bit of reveal of the pattern paper below. I cut a third mask, so you saw earlier when I did the trees that I had the masks for the Ferris wheel and the carousel. I cut a center mask for that Christmas tree. Again, really quick and easy to do using that um, post-it note paper. I am going to use this stencil. This is a stencil I've had in my stash for quite some time. Obviously, you can see that it's an oval. There are etched lines. That's what I was trying to show you is there's etched lines, one for an A2 size panel and then one for this size that's cut down just that quarter of an inch. So this panel is actually four by five and a quarter. I aligned it and I'm using some purple tape just to hold it in place. I'll turn it over. I want to use a lighter gray ink. I don't, because I stamped using that twilight, I don't want to use that same color because it will erase the stamping that I've done. It just um, will blend everything in together. So I went with Catherine Pooler's Pebble ink, which is a little bit lighter. I'm going to go heavy handed at the top of this mask. So in between the carousel and then of course for the sky, I want my snow to still have the illusion of being white. So I'm going to carefully and lightly use the brush. I want that oval to show, but I don't want to make it so dark that that it looks like I have really, really dirty snow. So I'm just lightly going over the edges of the oval and you can see right there that I am still going to have that beautiful light color at the bottom and then the dark at the top. And this is going to highlight the center of my scene yet still giving me um, that pretty simple uh, stamped background in the back. So I'm not going to color any of those pieces in. I'm going to um, attach the top panel by adding some foam tape to the back to give it a little bit of dimension, which again is going to give it a little bit of interest. So I'll take four pieces of this roll of dimensional tape. I get this tape over at Amazon. I used to hate this tape because I really had a hard time getting the release paper off, but over time, I've been using this for a couple of years. Over time, I've learned to work with this a little bit better. I found that my um, Spellbinders pick and my uh, reverse tweezers are my friends when it comes to pulling off that release paper. I'll center this onto my panel. Again, I'm just going to have a little bit of a review 
reveal. If you wanted to take a rectangle and cut out the center of that hatch pattern paper, you certainly could to save it. Now this is the only color. I couldn't imagine the penguin having a black nose and not being able to give those little um, pink cheeks. So I did use a yellow Copic marker and I believe this is an R2 marker to add the cheeks to the penguin. I'm not going to add any foam tape to this sleigh. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. So I'll go ahead and use my, um, this is a Barely Arts glue bottle, but I actually have art glitter glue in there. So I've just going to add that and we'll put our penguin in the center and that will pretty much complete our card for today. So it's really simple, something a little bit different. Black seems to be on trend for Christmas cards this year. Here I'm just using my Copic pen to add the eyes in the, it was kind of messed up on the right eye. I just wanted to clean that up a little bit. Oh, I need to add my sentiment. Here I thought I was done with my card. So I have a sentiment that says season's greetings. I've added some um, acetate to make sure that I like the placement of my sentiment. I'm using some verse fine black onyx ink or onyx black ink for my sentiment because I really like the crisp boldness that I get from this uh, pigment ink. And then I'm going to attach it to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch top folding card base. And that will complete my card for today. Got ahead of myself a little bit there. So I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you are interested in any of these products, I will have them linked in the description box below. I think this is um, a nice departure for me, just something to try that was a little bit different. You let me know. Do you like uh, these simple monochromatic cards. Are you a fan of the black and white cards? I would love to know. Thanks so much for joining me today. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.